there and welcome to another video from Mr. Hegarty. Um, in this video we're doing a, a GCC higher revision video, it's our 14th video and it's on two-way tables. As with the videos in this section, it's very important to know it's a very quick, focused revision. Uh, topics aren't explained in depth. For more depth, check out HegartyMaths.com. But this is to give you a, a revision card of the main idea and for you to try the exam questions that have come up like this topic. So the topic we're doing is two-way tables and make a revision card uh, using this example. So copy this example on your revision card. The best way to, do, uh, to understand two-way tables is just to do an example. So you're given some information and you're asked about some missing information that is associated with this. And the best way to, to answer these questions and to represent this is in what's called a two-way table. So here's our key information. 53 students attend an uh, after-school club and are able to choose from football, tennis or running as their activities. There are 24 boys. 22 students chose football, of which, of which 8 were girls. 8 boys chose tennis and 12 girls chose running. The question is how many ch students in total chose running? So the way we set this up is always the same. Um, Put uh, your, your options across one side of a table, uh, so your options are football, tennis and running across one side, and put whether they're boys or girls down the side, let's say. So what we do is we have a football column, a tennis column, and a running column, and always make sure you've got a total column as well, total. And down the side we're going to have boys, and we're going to have girls. And you guessed it, we're going to have a total as well. So draw yourself a two-way table. So this is a two-way table. And we're going to use this to uh, fill in all that data we're given in the question and find the missing pieces of data. So let's go through one by one and fill in what we've got. There are 53 students. So that goes in the total total. There are 53 students in total. That goes here. Now, there are 24 boys, so the boys, the total of the boys' row must be 24. There are 20 stu 22 students chose football, of which 8 were girls. So in the football column, total, in total there are 22 students, and 8 of them were girls. So 8 girls chose football. 8 boys chose tennis, so in the boys and the tennis, we have 8 there. And 12 girl girls chose running, so 12 girls chose running goes there. Now, with this information, we could find all the blanks. And how we do it is simple. We look at a row or column that has that is full up apart from one thing missing, and then we can use uh, that to find the missing. So here, because we have 53 in total and uh, 24 boys, we can work out the girls. The girls must be 53 subtract 24, mustn't they? Okay, because in total there are 53. If there are 24 um, boys, then that tells us that what we must have is we must have um, uh, 20, uh, 29 girls. And I'm going to write that in a different colour and put a thing around, put a little sign around it just to show us that that is one of the ones we worked out. Okay, now what else could we work out? Well, now we could work out the missing girls doing tennis because we know in total they have to add to 29. These two currently add to 20, so this must clearly be 9. Because we want 8 add 9 add 12 to add to 29, so we've worked that out. Now we can work out the total doing tennis, 8 add 9 is 17. Okay. Now we could work out the total running, because in total there are 53 people, 22 do football, 17 do tennis, Those t these two here add together to 39, we want to get to 53, so what we're going to do is we're going to add another 14. Okay, That means there must be two boys who chose running because 2 and 12 must equal 14. And in total that means the boys with football, because 8 and 2 is 10 and we want to get to 24, this clearly must be 14. And we can check it works because 14 add 8 is equal to 22. So the question was in this case, how many students chose running? Well if you look in the running column and you look here, you get yourself 14 students. 
okay? So that's always how we do this. Make a revision card of this. Do the options across the top with a total. Do the gender, let's say in this case, down the side with a total. Fill in everything you know and use that information to fill in the missing gaps by picking a row or column that is full up apart from one missing number. And remember that each row must add up to this total and each column must add up to the total down there. There are two exam questions that are ever come up on this. I want you to pause the video when I show you it, have a go, and I'll show you the answer in 10 seconds. So here's the first one. Pause the video, I'll show you the answer now. So here is my answer. I drew a two-way table with biology, chemistry, and physics along the top and total. Boys, girls, and total. In red is everything that came straight from the question, and in green is everything that I had to work out. We were asked the number of students who like biology best. I got 49 as my answer. Okay, one more question has come up like this. Pause the video, have a go. I'll go through in 10 seconds. Okay, so here is my answer. Remember these were four marks. The one before was also four, so it's quite four easy marks. Here was my answer. Everything in red is what came straight from the question and everything in green is what I worked out. Um, and it asked how many study French and I got 19. So make sure you can do those two types of questions and they're four marks if they come up is really quite a nice easy topic because it's just adding and subtracting. If you know how to lay out it should be straightforward for you to get four marks in the higher paper. Thanks for watching.